In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to install Mr. Crayfish Furniture Short Mod and not only how to install it, but how to fix some issues you might find along the way because I've been hearing that some of you have been getting trouble with the Java installation, converting the jar file. So don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to install this mod and how to get it working properly. So yeah, hopefully you could use this mod better than me because as you can see, my creation sucks. But anyways, let's get started. And just before we get started on the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod, let me tell you real quick about Apex Hosting because if you click on the first link right now in the description, you will get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. They will help you set up a modded server, a regular vanilla server, a Java Bedrock Edition server, whatever type of server you're trying to set up. Apex Minecraft Hosting got you. I mean, one of the features that I always love from Minecraft Apex Hosting is that you could access the console of your server from your phone. So you could go on your phone and change the settings of the server, even if you're away from your computer. And I believe that's amazing. Anyways, once I let you know about the 25% off from Apex Hosting, let's get started with the tutorial. Step number one to get Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod install is to click the first link in the description which is our written guide for those of you that like to read or see images. This is right here. But the main thing here though, when you come in here is to scroll down a little bit and click download Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. Go ahead and click on this big button that says download. That is going to redirect you over here, but we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find the most recent version. In this case, we're installing 1.19 and you can see that the most recent version of 1.19 is right here. It's usually also down here in the bottom right if you don't find it in here for any reason, but just find it wherever you are able to find it and go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds seconds the download will start automatically actually it's asking me where to download it because i have it set up that way so i'm just going to go ahead and download it to my downloads folder because i'm going to end up dropping it to my desktop anyways obviously we're going to need modern minecraft in order to play with this mod so i'm going to teach you how to do that real quick and also before we even mod minecraft i have to let you know something any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have the newest installation of java in your computer chances are many of you have either java 7th java 8th or java 17th but we actually need java 18th and don't worry because we have a guide on that and I'm also going to teach you how to do it real quick. Anyways, once we have Mr. Craze Fish Furniture mod downloaded, let's go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you over here to download Forge. Forge is needed in order to play any mod in Minecraft. And in this case, we'll be installing Forge 1.19. We also have a tutorial in depth on that, but in this video, I'm just going to teach you how to do it real quick. Once you're here, go ahead and click download Forge here. In here, just click the installer for 1.19 and that's it. Super easy to download the installer for, well, actually it's going to redirect you over here, my bad. You're going to wait five seconds again. I know, waiting five seconds a lot. It, it just always happens like that. We're supporting out the creators, guys. So just go ahead and click on skip once you've waited five seconds and it's going to download automatically. In my case, it asks me, but for you, it's probably going to download automatically. Anyways, once we got Forge 1.19, let's wait for that to finish downloading. We're going to start installing it. But before you install it, I want you to check what Java version you have. So go ahead and click type here to search and then type add or remove programs. And once add or remove programs opens, search this list and type Java. And let's see what Java you have. As you can see, I have Java 8. That means I'm outdated. I actually installed Java 8 in order to run our craft because our craft runs in 1.12.2. And as you might remember, any version below Minecraft 1.16.5 will require you to have Java 8. I'm actually gonna get rid of this Java. And once this Java is completely uninstalled, I'm going to download Java 18th because that is the one I need. So, so once you check your Java version, if you have anything below Java 18th, I do recommend that you change it because your game might give you an error about your Java runtime, something like that. So just get rid of any older version of Java and then we're going to update Java to Java 18th. Anyways, as you can see, now I don't have any Java. Go ahead and click on the third link in the description. Actually, it should be the fourth link. Anyways, they're going to be labeled, okay? They're going to say something like download Java or something like that. That is our written guide on how to download and install Java, of course. But the main thing in here is to click download Java here. Once you click there, it's going to redirect you to the Java website where you're going to scroll down a little bit, select Java 18th, and then select Windows and then download the x64 installer. As you can see, it's the one in the middle. Make sure you download the x64 installer, not anything else because you don't want any extra files. Go ahead and click download here. That is going to obviously start the download for you, but for me, it asks where I want to download it. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to end up dropping it into the desktop. You already know I love dropping my things into the desktop. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that into the desktop. Now we have Java 18th, we have Forge 1.19, and we have Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. Now the order to install stuff right here is to install Java, then Forge, then add the Furniture Mod. But I'm not going to start installing Java Java 18th because I know once I install Java 18th, since I had Java 8 before, these little two files right here, these jar files, which is the name of it, won't be updated automatically. So I have to add a jar fix. Adding a jar fix is really, really easy. And obviously we do have a guide on that. So just click on the link in the description that says download jar fix, which will bring you over here. We're going to click the download jar fix here. That is going to redirect you to this website. Where in here, we're going to click jarfix.exe. It's this little blue line in here. And this is the last file we need. I promise you guys, you don't need any other files. So once you have the jar fix, 
graphics downloaded quite and drop it into the desktop and you're ready to start installing stuff i'm going to close out from all these browsers let's go ahead and start installing everything first thing you want to do is to install java 18th it should be labeled something like jdk 18th windows 64 just go ahead and double click on it once you double click on it it's going to prompt you with administrator sign just go ahead and give it permission and in here we're going to click next next and we're just going to wait for this java to finish installing it should be actually a fast and easy process let's just wait for this to finish installing as you can see it's going really fast after java i has finished as you can see it says close go ahead and click close that means that you fully install it you could get rid of the installer now and now we're going to run the jar fix the jar fix is needed remember to update these little cops in here because there is even a chance that you don't even see these cops in here you might see like a document or maybe a zip file do not worry just click the jar fix after you have installed java okay remember install java i think run on the Jarfix, just double click on it. Double clicking Jarfix is going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run. It's completely safe. I've been doing this forever. And then once Jarfix has run successfully, as you can see, it says Java runtime environment. It has been updated to Java 18, which is good. Go ahead and click on OK. You could get rid of that now. And now we could start installing Forge 1.19. Now, before you install Forge 1.19, make sure you have run Minecraft 1.19 vanilla in your computer at least once. Go ahead and close Minecraft. Go ahead and close Minecraft launcher. And then once you make sure you run it, once and you close everything out you could start installing forge just double click on forge right here that is going to bring up the installer we're going to select install client it should already be selected by default do not change the folder where you're installing it and then go ahead and click on ok installing forge is actually quite easy and it's just going to take around 20 seconds and as we can see after like 10 15 seconds forge has fully installed 1.19 forge go ahead and click on ok now we could even delete the installation of forge and we could even delete this little file that it creates when it installs forge now we need to drop this Mr. Cray Finisher mod into the mods folder. And how do we find the mods folder, you might ask? Don't worry, go ahead and launch Minecraft Launcher. And once you open Minecraft Launcher, if you install Forge properly, Forge will be automatically selected here in the bottom left. In case you don't see Forge in there, just go to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Once you check modded, as you can see, Forge appears. And anyways, if it doesn't appear like that, just click on new installation. And in here in version, just scroll down until you find Forge. As you can see, Forge is right here, release 1.19. And then you can name that whatever you want and click create on the bottom right anyways once we have found forge right we make sure we have forge come here to installations and then click on the folder that appears when you hover over forge as you can see forge 1.19 there's a little folder go ahead and click on that folder that is going to open a bigger folder you could go ahead and minimize the browser for now that is going to open this big folder and in here we're going to look for a folder called mods mods but what happens if you don't have that folder in there right i just deleted mine you just create a new one it's really easy it's really straightforward just right click click new and then type in mods mods as you can see actually don't type it in big letters just mods as you can see just like that open that folder it should be empty because we just created it and then just drop this mod in there the, the mr crayfish furniture mod go ahead and drop it in there we could go ahead and close that folder and now we could launch forge 1.19 go ahead and click play on that and obviously it's going to give you the prompt that you're launching modern minecraft go ahead and understand the risk and click play but the main thing here is that it says mods right here right we could see the mods folder that we created earlier go ahead and click on it and as you can see mr crayfish furniture mod has been loaded i'm not really good with this mod i don't really know how to use it but yeah guys that is pretty much how to sell me say crayfish furniture mod i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always bye bye